Mike Furio. Gab as always. Here's the field for the Tanner Sauls base. Number one, Hawaiian Cowboy. All by Pinsky Stables, Samson Stables, and White Birch. Pinsky trains led for driving. Two, Genuine Bunny, Perfect World Enterprises. Mark Harder, the trainer, make the driver Mark Hismoto. Number three, Little Brown Jug winner and North America Cup winner, Better's Delight, John Grant. Scott McEnany trains with Mike Lachance. Number four, Picnic in the Park. He's owned by Marvin Rodick, trained by Jerry Silverman with Danielle Dubay. Number five is Running Start. Brittany Farms, Valdor Farms, and Friedman Brett Pelling trains with Ron Pierce. Number six, the Meadowlands Pace Champion, Real Desire. All by Brittany Farms, Burgess, Peretti Farms, and Karen Olson Burgess. Blair Burgess trains with Campbell. The seven is Klingon Hanover. All by Robert Rosenheim Stables, Awida, and Sampson Street. Peter Blood trains with Dale Heitman. Number eight, Arlene and Jules Seagulls, full of fun. Trained by Jim Campbell with Dave Hawk. Also owned by the Seagulls and trained by Campbell is number nine, Bagel Beach Boy. Dave Miller drives Bagel Beach Boy. Number 10 is Quality of Life, owned by the Robert Rosenheim Stables, trained by Peter Blood with Jim Matinas. A third starter for Arlene and Jewel Siegel and trainer Jim Campbell is the 11 Lots of Cloud, Luke Willett driving. Number 12 is Michael Dresser's Horse Laughter. Ron Henderson trains with Don Irvine Jr. And completing the Tanner Saul's Pace Field, number 13, Tupac. Tupac is owned by Sharp, Siegel, and Arnold, trained by Nat Barty. Chris Christopheru is in the sulky. So that's the field for the Tanner Saul's Pace. Exacta, Trifecta, and Superfecta in six minutes. Number four, Picnic in the Park, getting a tow from a groom there to get him behind the gate. And the stage is set for the grand finale of the 126th Fall Grand Circuit Session at the historic Red Mile. Two of the sport's finest three-year-old pacers in history, Better's Delight and Real Desire, ready to square off in the Tantersall's pace. And they're off, and there goes Better's Delight, who's charging out for Lachance Hawaiian Cowboy from the inside post, trying to protect it. And Dave Hawk is hustling full of fun into the action on the outside. So Better's Delight is between horses. Hawaiian Cowboy committed to the lead early, and full of fun is rain back trying to drop in third. Quality of life on the inside, fourth, keeping full of fun parked out there. Real Desire is on the outside, hoping for full of fun's cover, but Hawk is able to squeeze in. So Real Desire is first over in fourth position as they hit the quarter in 27 seconds flat and Campbell will take a shot for the lead right now. Real Desire up on the outside pacing strongly and Better's Delight stings him a bit on the backstretch. They are rolling as they move toward the half mile marker. It's Real Desire working hard to clear. Better's Delight not wanting to let him go but now Real Desire crosses over and these two have opened up on the rest of the field. Campbell taps the brakes 52 and 3 an unbelievable half mile time here and Real Desire Desire jams the brakes on, looking for a breather. Better's Delight is right there in the pocket in second, and Picnic in the Park is coming first over. He's up now into second position. Bagel Beach Boy follows him second over. Hawaiian Cowboy on the inside is racing in fifth. Horse Laughter, third over, sixth on the outside. Three wide now is Bagel Beach Boy, so Real Desire was stung hard in that second quarter. Three quarters in 122 flat. It's Real Desire with the lead at the top of the stretch. Better's Delight needs some race room. He's jammed in behind him in second. Real Desire is digging in. Better's Delight with room between them. Bagel Beach Boy on the outside third. It's Real Desire. Better's Delight off that pocket trip has taken the lead for Mike LaChance and it's Better's Delight pacing away in the Tattersall's pace and Better's Delight has won it. Real Desire was second. Bagel Beach Boy third. Tight for fourth. May have been Klingon Hanover in 149 and four. Better's Delight and Real Desire have met eight times now, and Better's Delight has won seven of those confrontations, including today's Tanner Saul's Pace 
in 149 and four fifths. Better's Delight, fresh off his dynamic Little Brown Jug victory, scores for owner John Grant of Hornby, Ontario, trainer Scott McEnany, and driver Mike Lachance. Better's Delight, a Cam's card chart three-year-old out of the Armbro Emerson Mayor Classic Wish, was bred in Maryland by the Winback Farm. That's the ninth win this year for Better's Delight, who scores in the grand finale of the 2001 Grand Circuit Session at the Red Mile, taking the historic Tattersall's pace in 149 and 4. The Lieutenant Governor of the State of Kentucky, Dr. Stephen Henry, trackside along with Heather French Henry to make the trophy presentation to the winning connections, Better's Delight. Our own Ken Hornick and Ellie Sarama standing by with much more coming up after the trophy presentation winter circle celebration. Finishing third was number nine, Bagel Beach Boy, and fourth was number seven, Klingon Hanover, 3697. One forty nine and four. Thanks, Sam. Well, a great, great effort here by Batters Delight and a good drive by Michael Chance. Mikey had to be a little concerned once Real Desire cleared at the half. Yeah, but I, I took him for a piece there, and uh, I want to give myself, uh, my horse, a chance to win, but I didn't want to kill him, uh, kill my horse, and I didn't want to kill uh, John either. So, you know, like, uh, uh, I got lucky I got out in the stretch there. But when you have a real desire in front of you, you've got a better shot to, uh, to come out than uh, when you have a long shot. So. I was just going to ask you that question. We've seen a couple of horses get locked in in the pocket here. That had to be on your mind at the top of the lane. Yeah, but it's just uh, a chance that I have to take uh, because the, the court's going to listen to Breeders' Ground next week, and uh, so I couldn't afford to uh, brutalize him uh, today. These two courts have been magnificent all season long, but uh, Better's Delight seems to have the edge. Well, uh, I don't know. It's hard to say. Maybe the other horse has uh, maybe more speed than Better's Delight, but uh, Better's Delight might be a little tougher, but it, it, they're two great colts, and uh, it's a great competition every week. Great to have a season like this between those two colts. Mike, congratulations. Ken Hornick's going to catch horse? up with the owner, Mr. Scott Grant. McEnany. Scott, uh, quite, a, quite a career year for you this year. The Jug, the uh, North American Cup, now the Tatter Souls, and the great to wrap it up with the previous crowd that you're in it. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, you know, it's just been a great year, and even last year with this horse, he's just, he's just a great horse. Now, wh what did you think coming into today? I kind of predicted you'd be leaving. John would probably have to come out. Is that what you thought, or what were you thinking uh, when they were going to be on the gate? Yeah, I thought John would have to leave in there. There's too many, you know, horses in there that could get in his road. So, you know, it worked out good for us. Uh, Mike used uh, John's horse a little bit going to the half there, so we got we got out of the head lane, and he looked good at the work. Okay, Scott, the uh, best of luck with him in the Beaters' Crown, and we'll see you back up in Canada. Thank you. Okay, that's Scott McEnany, and uh, this is Ellie Sarama. And Ellie, this is uh, going to be it for us. It's uh, just past 4.30. We're heading back to Jersey. I'm heading back to Ontario. Your thoughts on the two-week lead here? 